following a trail of nepotism in the halls of Congress. An investigation has found that an extraordinary number of House members are trading on their positions as elected leaders to benefit themselves and their families, even hiring relatives for their offices and their campaigns. ABC's John Carl tracked down some of the lawmakers. How would you like a job where you can expense your fitness training? Try to keep the right forearm. Hire your kids and your spouse. Earn 18% interest on your money. And funnel millions of dollars of other people's money to places your family members work. There are members of Congress who do all of that, and it's perfectly legal. The scandal in Washington isn't what's illegal, it's what's legal. A new report singles out 82 members of Congress for putting family members on their payrolls. Ron Paul's campaigns have hired his daughter, brother, grandson, granddaughter, and three other relatives, paying a total of $300,000 since 2007. Paul's campaign manager told ABC News it's all above board. We caught up with Keith Ellison, who the report says paid his son $7,000 in his last campaign. I don't think a person on a campaign who is related to the candidate should be excluded for that purpose. Lynn Woolsey paid her daughter $43,000 in her last campaign. She really earned that money. Every penny of it. Every penny of it. Several members make money by loaning their campaign's cash. Grace Napolitano loaned her campaign $150,000 from her retirement account in 1998 and for years charged 18% interest. And then there's the case of Aaron Schock. The mega-fit congressman had his campaign pay $319 for a P90X fitness video. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. He didn't return calls for comment. His campaign also paid for a seaplane ride in St. Croix. Not bad. Jonathan Carl, ABC News, Capitol Hill.